An expression is a statement in the language of mathematics. We ascribe meaning to the symbols we use, so they may be used instead of words, and so an expression must also work as a sentence. So, for example, if we had 4x squared minus 32, you can see I, I could say that very easily. It still makes sense, both as a sentence, but also as an expression. If instead I had something like this, these are all normal mathematical symbols. However, we've got a factorial, an x, an an open bracket, not even a, a closed bracket, just a left parenthesis, a multiplication symbol and an addition. So reading this out, this would read as factorial times x to the power of open bracket times plus. Doesn't make any sense at all. So you need to make sure when you're writing expressions, it still makes sense as a sentence and you can clearly read it out. We can form expressions from the processes we know a variable goes through. For example, if we know that the variable x is added to 16, we can write it like that. And then if we know all of that is multiplied by 2.5, we could do this. The order of operations is really important here. So remember bid mass, where B is brackets, I is indices, D is division, M is multiplication, A is addition, and S is subtraction. In this case, we have to put brackets around the X plus 16 because we want that done first. If instead I just wrote it as this, 2.5, didn't write any brackets and just do this. To use this expression, I would do two and a half times x and then add 16, which isn't what we originally wanted to do. We wanted to add 16 and then times by two and a half. An equation is when two equal expressions are joined by an equal sign. So for example, we could have something like this, 14x plus 15 equals 71. And this is something that we could solve. So we can solve this for x and get a, a set value rather than this equation. So we could take away 15, first of all. If we do that from both sides, the 15 on the left-hand side would cancel out. Taking away 15 from 71 leaves you with 56. Then we've got 14 lots of x. We only want one lot of x, so we'll divide by 14. That cancels out the 14 on the left-hand side. And then 56 divided by 14 is 4. The equation has been solved and the unknown value x has been found. You may have to formulate equations. It is very similar to formulating expressions. If, for example, we say that 6 plus 12 lots of x is equal to 66, then we could write something like this. 6 plus 12 lots of x is equal to 66. So you can see we can still say it as a normal sentence. So make sure it makes sense. And also keep an eye out for bid mass again so that your order of operations are correct. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done. So you can see for every problem, you have a written solution that exactly explains how you should have solved the problem.